She continues our team coverage now from the downtown area. So, Maria Elena, what are you seeing? Katie Don, well, that wind is still gusting through, and as you mentioned, lots of down trees. We saw a lot of those on our way from Portsmouth out here to Suffolk, but buildings, that's what I want to show you right now. This is the Knight Financial Building right on the corner of Saratoga Street here in downtown Suffolk, and you can see the side of that building is gone. It is just off of the building air. There's a pile of bricks down on the ground in the parking lot. The stairwell that it looks like, you know, a fire escape ladder is completely gone. Damaged. You can literally see inside of that building. And again, that is the night financial. It is heavy, heavy damage here on Sarasota. So we Suffolk officials told us that around 345 in the morning, they got a call for a possible tornado on the 100 block of Saratoga Street. Again, that's here in downtown. We've also learned that a number of homes have heavy damages. There's next door furniture store. Our Keanu Patterson was out here earlier today, showed you the damage there. So quite a few businesses dealing with some damage. The city has opened an emergency shelter that is at Kings Fork High School on Kings Fork Road. Of course, there are some restrictions or things to keep in mind because of the coronavirus when it comes to going to that shelter. So you need to go to wavy.com to find out the details before you head over that way. If you are someone who may be displaced because of any damage, or anything coming down near your home, any power lines or anything like that. So again, like I mentioned, when we drove over here from Portsmouth into Suffolk, there were trees down on 58 on a number of streets, branches, leaves, all that sort of stuff. So it definitely took a little bit longer. We've got some people out here today kind of taking a look at, at this building here. Again, the Knight Financial Building on Saratoga Street and even along other streets, even Saratoga Street, some of the other streets here in Suffolk, there are trees and branches and leaves kind of all around the street. Looks like a lamp post down on one side I'm seeing now is also down. So again, a lot of damage, but this building, one of the hardest hit definitely down here in Suffolk. You can see on the back side of the building, it looks like a piece of the building how it was just torn off of it. So some really significant damage. The roof falling in on the top of it. We've seen fire and police crews out here. They did tape off this building to prevent some people, people going up and looking. And we have seen firefighters go inside, um, assuming to assess the damage there. But this is definitely going to take some time to clean out uh, again. So incredibly heavy, heavy damage down here in downtown Suffolk. Uh, a colleague of ours at Wavy TV 10 is not far uh, in the Riverview Homes neighborhood. She is out there and she's sending me pictures of homes that have the roofs ripped off, ripped off of them as well. So some really significant damage here in Suffolk. So this again is the Knight Financial Building. There's a nearby furniture store over this way. Maybe Mike, we can kind of turn to the right over here. Zoom in on this Brandon House quality furniture store. Keanu Patterson was out here earlier today and she showed you that damage earlier this morning. But as you can see, that roof is gone. The furniture is a mess. The owner had told us it's going to take, uh, I mean, it's it's a lot of work to clean all of this up. So a lot of people dealing with businesses being destroyed in this hurricane. So this is what we're seeing out here in Suffolk right now. In terms of the weather, we're feeling a little bit of a drizzle, but that wind is pretty gusty. Um, it, it feels like the rain has died down again, but again, lots of trees, leaves, branches, everything like that covering downtown Suffolk, incredible amount of damage, and we'll keep you posted throughout the day. For now, live in Suffolk, I'm Maria Elena Baloris, 10 on your side.